Okay guys, welcome back. This video is uh, one of the final old MSI college videos, one of the favorites. Uh, I know a lot of people enjoyed it. I actually had a guy speaking to me the other day, one of the MSI college and first man community members. Um, and we were discussing how he loved that video of don't chase what you want, upgrade yourself until what you want chases you. And he said it really changed his life in the sense of, I think he went through a breakup and then found that video and said, instead of like trying to get her back or, you know, chase the next woman, he went and upgraded himself and he said it definitely worked. Like he's in a position in life now where he has what he wants, I guess. So that's fantastic. And I want to make that video again so I can have that same effect and help even more guys moving forward into the future. So this video is very much for guys who are looking to attract either, you know, a top level woman, they've got their eye on one specific woman, or they've got their eye on like an ex-girlfriend, or they've just gone through a breakup or something, okay? So here's what most guys do in this scenario. They think, oh shit, I need to get that woman back, or I need to get that woman to notice me. And they chase, they chase, they chase, and they chase. And they say, what does she want? You know, what can I do to improve? You know, what, 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 what can I do for you to want me? I'll do anything. Babe, please don't leave. You get all this stuff, right? And it's never going to help you. You're going to look soppy. You're going to look weak. You're like a beta male you don't want that so what's the way around it well as i said at the start don't chase what you want upgrade yourself until what you want chases you so put this into like i said a story i, lo I love doing these stories because it creates a vision so two guys guy a guy b now guy a loses his girlfriend she dumps him for not being good enough fair enough happens all the time sometimes you need to look within and go Maybe I'm not good enough. Maybe, you know, I've let myself go a bit. Thanks for the notice. Tick, let's move forward. Um, but this guy took it to heart. You know, he's panicking. He's thinking, okay, how do I get her back? He's on social media. He's following her. He's seeing what she's doing. She's dating new guys. He's panicking. Um, he's getting stressed about it. He keeps ringing her. He keeps trying to, you know, get her back in his life. And then he thinks, shit, I'm not going to get her back. I need to get a woman of equal value or somebody around that level. And he turns into one of those thirsty guys who's getting older but just chasing women left, right and center. He's going out clubbing every night. Every woman he meets, he takes a picture with, tries to make her jealous, his ex-girlfriend on social media. And he's doing this real stupid chase game which is never going to get him anywhere. Guy B. Guy B gets dumped, same reason, same scenario, looks himself and thinks, you know, here's the difference. He looks himself and he thinks, shit, maybe I'll let myself go. You know, he sits there for about a month. He thinks about this. He looks within and he goes, okay, I'm, I'm not as good as I could be. Maybe I could have been a better man. She was maybe right to leave. She will regret that decision in the future, though. It's the best thing that ever happened to me. That difference in mindset has just changed the game. So guy A, throw him away. You know, he's doomed forever. He's going to be chasing women like a knob. Guy B has gone, okay, fuck it. Looks down, I'm out of shape. I'm going to get a gym membership. And I'm going to hit the gym like a lunatic. You know, he's just ordered a pizza and he's like, this is the last fat boy meal I'm ever going to eat. I'm going to, you know, I'm going to get rid of my Netflix subscription. I'm going to stop ordering pizzas. I'm going to stop drinking alcohol. He's got one last beer in his hand, dans it, throws it in the bin, whatever, and just goes, fuck it. That's it. Tomorrow, different me. Gets up at 5 a.m., gets in the gym, works his balls off. And it's tough to begin with. But over two, three years, he has the perfect body. You know, he finds something like autotropics. He builds up his face, his jaw, etc. He starts saying to himself, okay, I'm going to start my own business. You know, I'm going to dedicate myself to that. Gets to a point in five years time where he's got six figures a year. Um, then he says, okay, I've got a bit of money now. I'm going to take my fitness to another level. I'm going to hire a personal trainer. Um, I'm going to hire a counselor, you know, just to let some feelings out or whatever and just improve myself as a man, just talk to different people um, and just get some feelings off my chest. Maybe if I hold resentment from the past, then he's going to go, okay, I'm going to do some classes. I'm going to do some yoga. I'm going to do yoga on top of a fucking mountain or a hill every Saturday morning. I'm going to be at peace with myself. I'm going to buy all this. Uh, I'm going to buy nice clothes for myself. I'm going to get myself a couple assets. I'm going to save and get myself a very nice home and build myself as the complete man. You know, I completely went off tandem. I'm just throwing stuff in. Maybe you learnt a language. Maybe you learnt to cook. All these other things. It's very much like I talked about in the previous video um, about any man can go from a 1 to a 10. He's taken on that mindset. He's thinking, okay, I'm going to give myself, maybe got dumped at 21 years old. He said, I'm going to give myself 9 years to put myself in a great position. He's now upgraded. He's now upgraded. So guy A. Guy A meets this woman, his ex-girlfriend. 
nine years later, bumps into her. She's with a better guy, you know, she's got a better life. You bump into her, you're a little bit shy, low on confidence because you think, shit, you know, I'm not looking too good. I've not really gone anywhere in my life. You're in flip-flops and a tank top and you put on a bit of weight, you don't look great, you know, you've taken it sorely and the girl that you're with now is a lot uglier than she was. And you meet each other and she's kind of like rolling her eyes, she's kind of laughing deep down, she's taking the piss out of you, she knows her new man is better than you, she thinks, best decision I ever made. That's a hard feeling to take. That's a hard feeling, she thinks she's upgraded. It's not nice. Guy B, she uh, bumps into you in nine years time, you pull up in a brand new McLaren. You know, or you pull up in a brand new Mercedes or something like that. Something that everybody can achieve, right? You know, BMW i8, something like that. Like a 60, 70 grand car. You pull up in that. You look better than ever. You're in the best shape of your life. You know, you look clean. The woman you got next to you now is a model. Three times better than the girl that dumped you all those years ago. Five years younger. You're dressed really well. You know, she barely recognizes you. You're confident, you know, your body language is good, tonality is good, you go straight up to her, you know, you're like, how are you? You shake the guy's hand firmly, you double his size, and she is just shit out intimidated, and she's thinking, what the fuck did I ever get rid of him for? How did that happen? She's now looking at a new man like, I've messed up. You know, she's, she now wants to get back in your life. So you say goodbye, you know, pleasantries, whatever, you have some good manners, you don't take it for malice, and you're not going to be angry at her. Do you know what I mean? If you're... If you see her again and you're the guy A, you're going to be pissed off. You're going to have some resentment. You're going to go home in a bad mood. If you've upgraded beyond her, you're going to feel good. You know, you've let that resentment go because you're like, look, I've moved way past you. I don't want you anymore. Given the choice, you won't want her anymore. You get home with your new girl, whatever, you know, have sex, great. You know, your life's fantastic. You're in your big new house with your nice car. You then get a message off your ex-girlfriend. Hey, it was great seeing you today. You look really good. Do you want to meet up for a drink, catch up like old times? That moment right there, guys, is the fucking difference between guy A and guy B. And this is why I created First Man in the first fucking place. Because I was in a similar scenario where I wanted to upgrade. And I'm telling you, I did this business so that I could help guys never feel like that again. Where you feel like shit, where your life got worse and you bump into that person again. And as men, it's our right. You know, it should be what we should do. We We should get dumped by a girl who has that kind of meteoric rise she gets to 18 she's not worked for anything but she's super hot big pair of tits tight waist nice ass wide hips and you know she can get any man she wants and she dumps you and she casts you to the wayside even though she's not worked for what she has and you say fuck it and you go back into those trenches for 10 years you put your head down from 20 years old to 30 years old you think fuck it you watch this and for 10 years you work your balls off and it's just that sweet feeling that when you bump into her again, she looks and she just thinks, oh my God, who, like, that's my ex-boyfriend. He's gone from a one to a 10. He's now the man of my dreams. He's who I want. She now asks for you back. And without any malice, you can just say no. You know, you can be like, no. You know, given the choice, you don't even want to go back anymore. And it's not because she's not hot anymore or whatever. Like, she could still be gorgeous. She could still be attractive. And you, want her, you, you think she's, you know, really sexy. You would sleep with her if you just met her. But your standards have gone so high now that the girls that you're, you know, you've, up, you've upgraded yourself so far and so high that the girls you're now dating, that the life that you now have, the stuff that you're now chasing after, the ambition that you, knew, you now have, she can't compete with that anymore. She's not in that bracket. You're 10 levels above her. At one point, she was your dream girl. You've gone so high now that you're her dream man. But you're looking at her like, yeah, you, you were hot 10 years ago. Maybe three years ago, I might have gone for you again. But now I'm at such a meteoric level. You're, you know, you're not on my level. I don't want you anymore. Given the choice, like I wouldn't even sleep with you just for a bet or for fun. Like the women I've got in my life now, I don't need you. The money I have in my life now, I don't need you. The stuff I have in my life now, you're just a small part of it. I'm not even thinking about you. It was nice to see you and I'm glad you're doing well, but I'm here. You're there. It is what it is. And the great thing is, as well as a man, is your value is only going to get higher for the next like 20, 30 years. As a woman at 30, she's going to start doing that very steadily. So that gap's only going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. And the thing is, just be relentless, guys. Be relentless. Like, that isn't the end of the game. That isn't, okay, I won, let's, get, let's settle on my laurels now, you know, who won that relationship. Because the thing is, that's toxic. You're using her as a motivation to get started, but then over time you'll realize you're doing it for you. 
you know that resentment goes and you just improve but you just bump into each other one day that's that's when it that that sweet moment comes in but you're doing it for you you're improving for you so even when you get that sweet moment and you think to yourself Fuck me yes i finally won you know after all those years i get my sweet revenge you know last laugh keep going keep going aim for the stars become a fucking billionaire really rub it in but like i said don't do it for her do it for you but along the way, it will, you know, just, just anybody who's ever shit on you in the past, just do it for you. That includes, you know, if you're a gay guy and it's a man, do this exact same thing. If it's friends that fucked you over, do the exact same thing and look back and say, yeah, fuck you, look where I am now. And it's success is the best revenge. And it will always be the rest, best revenge. So don't forget, guys, never chase what you want. Upgrade yourself until what you want or wanted chases you.